So this is the warning or amber lights, check engine lights. When I was having the issue or the problem, this, which is, this is what I saw. And this is what I was getting. Okay, so here I'm showing you that I disconnected the radar. And that's the, uh, the connector right there. And that's the radar right there. And um, I'm going to show you that I can drive this car and have a normal cruise control. Or, you know, what I mean by normal means the cruise control back in the 80s. <laughs> you just have a cruise control, but it doesn't have any sensors. The sensors doesn't work anymore. But it'll hold the speed for you. And then when you tap on the brakes, it will release or turn off the the cruise control so it's like an old school cruise control it doesn't have any of the um, sensors now let me show you what it shows on the dashboard handbrake or the parking brake will respond respond correspondingly so if i put it on park it'll apply the brakes if i put it on drive it will remove the parking brake now I'm going to demonstrate to you guys um, that I'm going to drive this thing with a cruise control um, but it's not adaptive cruise control it's just a regular cruise control like an old school 90 or late 1980s cruise control meaning it will hold that speed but when you step on the brake it will cancel it it will cancel the cruise control but it won't use any sensors that all the sensors now are all disabled. So in this situation, I'd rather have this and have my cruise control. than not having the cruise control. So right here, I'm demonstrating that if you unplug it, now you can get your cruise control back. But remember guys, all the other sensors are no longer working. All the other uh, LDA, RDA, PCS, none of those stuff are working. This is like, it becomes a, a normal or regular old school uh, cruise control. 